Let's start with the first alert weather team. Dominus and Brittany, from winter storm warning to ice storm warning. Dominus, what's the real difference here? Yeah, well, at this point, we know with this ice storm warning for most of the Metroplex, including even most of even North Texas for this matter, we're going to see accumulations of ice about a half an inch or at least up to a half an inch. That's bad news. We're expecting pretty bad conditions or portions of this area until at least 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. A winter storm warning is farther to the east. We won't see as many accumulations in this area, but still we've got a mess on our hands over the course of today, even for tomorrow morning out over Dallas. We are seeing look at the temperatures here at DFW at 28 degrees. It feels like it's 19, but that's the picture that we're seeing across most of our viewing area. I see conditions out there and now we've got to add more precipitation onto it, mainly in the form of freezing rain and sleet, but freezing rain will be the rule for today. I look at first alert radar toward Tarrant and Dallas counties. We're really seeing much of that mix there with sleet and freezing rain toward Arlington, parts of Fort Worth, toward downtown Dallas, Carrollton there, even toward DeSoto and Mansfield. You'll see even farther to the north toward uh, McKinney and even Denton. We're seeing uh, that mix of precipitation. This will continue uh, moving in from our south and southwest over the course of this morning and to your afternoon. So we're going to have more moisture moving in. Some of it could be heavy at times and some of it could cling to some of those trees and power lines and and that could cause some power outages. So we hope that you have extra blankets on hand. We hope you have your flashlights as well. We hope it's not a big problem, but we want to prepare you not to scare you. You'll see temperatures this afternoon into the low 30s, even some upper 20s out there. And so we're going to have a rough go as we continue going through this morning into the afternoon and this evening. Now, Brittany, you have more with Futurecast to let us know what we're expecting as we go through not only today, but also tomorrow morning. That's exactly right. We are looking at the precipitation increasing in coverage. And yesterday we had a lot of sleet, which accumulates on the ground. Today we're looking more at freezing rain as we head into the afternoon hours. And that's when we start to see that ice accumulating on power lines, on tree limbs, and then you can get those tree limbs snapping. And that can also cause a power outage if they fall on those power lines. So that's why we had that upgrade to the ice storm warning because we are looking at those accumulations up to a half an inch from the Metroplex and then west of 35. But here's a look at Futurecast. We've already started to see that precipitation picking up throughout all of North Texas, and that's going to be the trend as we head throughout the day today, especially into the northwest around Bridgeport, Bowie into Graham. That's where we're seeing some of those darker pinks for a longer period of time, so that's where we're likely going to see some of those higher accumulations, but we still could have scattered freezing rain, a little bit of sleep mixing in as we head into the evening hours with East Texas starting to see some rain showers as temperatures do warm above freezing in that area. As we wake up up tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. We're still likely going to see a freezing rain and rain mix right along I-35 as our temperatures do start to warm back up above that freezing mark, but that's really going to take until about midday for that transition over to all rain to actually happen. And then we're going to see those scattered showers continuing into the evening hours before we finally dry out from west to east. So about a half an inch in the Metroplex around Greenville Terrell down to Ennis and Canton still looking at just under that half an inch of ice accumulation. So it's still going to be very cold and icy day for all of us. But here's the relief. Friday, the sunshine is back. We have the lower 50s. We have a stretch of dry days. There will be a bit more cloud cover on Saturday, but we'll at least be in the 50s, Keith. So that's going to allow more of that ice to melt out there and those conditions to improve. Brittany, we just have to hold on until we can get to Friday.